Hey, it's Weekend Ken. I'm just Ken. I mean, Justin here. I'm doing a little project in one of our spare bedrooms where we have this big mess. The network modem for our internet comes into this bedroom through the wall and the rest of the networking stuff is in this closet right behind me. This is a mess, so we're going to put the cable through the wall and I wanted something a little bit simpler than some of the stuff I was finding online. So I made up this little 3D sleeve. It will just go like this, and then you can tighten it down to have about a one inch diameter opening. So I'm using this adjustable drywall hole cutting device, and I've just got to adjust the hole size to the largest diameter of my sleeve here. <laughs> So here's the reality. This whole saw wouldn't really go small enough. And I was like, let's wing it. So as I go to put this in, you can see that uh, it's basically gonna fall in the hole. So I'm gonna make that flange a little bit wider and we'll be back. All right, revised, improved. This should work out better. I've increased the like shaft size here so that it fits better in the hole. I like how minimal the old one was, but you know, when the hole gets too big. While you weren't looking, I also drilled the hole in the back side in the closet. To line that up, I used the pilot of the hole saw to stick it through the original side, roughly the center on the second side. There's probably a way to do this without help, but I ended up just asking my wife to hold the back side while I tighten the front side. All right, there it is. This feels incredibly snake-like and it kind of creeps me out even though it's my own wire. So while this isn't a final solution for us, it is a big improvement and that's just what I was looking for. I wanted to get the modem out of this room so we can put a bookcase in front of it and not have a bunch of wires all over the place. So here's what it looks like. And there's the tunnel going into the closet where the modem now is. So pretty big improvement.